Hi there, my name is David, I'm the Vicar of Greyfriars and it's Easter Saturday, we're continuing our journey through Lent and through Easter and we're going to look briefly at these words from John chapter 19, the burial of Jesus. Later, Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate for the body of Jesus. Now Joseph was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly because he feared the Jews. With Pilate's permission, he came and took the body away. He was accompanied by Nicodemus, the man who earlier had visited Jesus at night. Nicodemus brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about 75 pounds. Taking Jesus' body, the two of them wrapped it with the spices in strips of linen. This was in accordance with Jewish burial customs. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. Because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and since the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. Fourteen years ago, I went through a, a double bereavement. My father died and my grandmother died, and it was possibly one of the hardest times I've been through in my life. And I remember feeling completely devastated, confused, upset. Uh, I was at sea and just didn't really know what to do with myself, what to think, how to be. And as many of you will know, having been through different times that are hard, times of grieving, grief is, is like waves. We feel these waves of sadness and love and loss washing over us. And there are times when those waves can feel huge and overwhelming and times when they're smaller and we feel that we can cope. And we see here in this passage, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, who we have come across earlier in John's Gospel, at the burial site, this tomb, as they are preparing Jesus' body, taking risks to bury him, to prepare his body for burial and I just wonder in this place as they're preparing Jesus's body what it is that they are experiencing whether perhaps they were feeling real despair whether they were upset whether they too had those waves of grief washing over them or perhaps rather whether they had a real godly sense of confidence of expectancy because they had heard Jesus say that death is not the end they had heard Jesus say on the third day he will rise again and so here we are on Easter Saturday we've just been through this journey on Good Friday remembering Jesus' crucifixion his death and yet we are resurrection people we look forward now to Easter Sunday knowing that death is not the end that there is hope and that Jesus will rise again and so for us in our lives as as we journey through Easter I'd love us to think what is it that we are experiencing in our lives now maybe you're in a really difficult place maybe you are grieving Maybe you're going through a time of loss and separation. But actually, we have real hope in the fact that Jesus did rise again. And so, with Joseph of Arimathea and with Nicodemus, let's be people of faith. Let's follow Jesus wherever he leads us, trusting that he will bring us to that final place of hope. Let's pray. Lord, on this day, Easter Saturday, as we look back and remember your crucifixion, your death for us on the cross, we pray that you would instill in us a sense of hope, that we would be a people who live the resurrected life, who have hope in your resurrection and ultimately in our resurrection. 
And so, Lord, pray that you would be with us now and fill us with your hope. In the name of Jesus. Amen.